Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video over on the channel by the name of Leah's Chill. Today we are here returning to Dokkan. Um, unfortunately, uh, I did have a 3000 stone summon that was supposed to be going up. Uh, we did the first half of the 1500 stones the other day. The other half was supposed to go up as of two days ago, actually, to, as of today. But unfortunately, I lost the footage for it, so here's the results. Uh, I got two of the LRGT combo in one multi, and it was absolutely incredible. Now, I've been working on my account to be able to get my team nice and serviceable, and so I'll be bringing in this team today into the content we're going into, and we'll see how it ends up going. Um, not a lot I have to say, honestly. Uh, we're using the two new LRs from the new anniversary, as well as some characters that we pulled along the way. Uh, this MUI being one of the most key ones, which is currently at Rainbow as well. So he's kind of nutty. For now, we're just going to go ahead and keep on grinding up some LRs I've been working on myself, and we'll see how it ends up going. Alrighty, so the first... Uh, event that we're going to do today is going to be the brand new Radiance of Victory Spirit Bomb of Hope. This is basically just the new LR's Awakening events, but I'm still working on the joint combo. Um, hmm. Do we do the joint duos tag or do we do... I'm going to do all LR and I'm going to try to find a GT duo as a partner. 90%? Sure, that works out. But yeah, so I pretty much I've been around the Dokkan community since I guess early 2016. And I've just kind of been lurking around here. Um, and so it's nice to actually get hands on with the game officially and be able to grind up events for myself as well. Uh, frankly, with this team, it hasn't been all that difficult. <laughs> Uh, I hate to admit it, but this team is cracked out of its fucking mind. God, I'm so happy I got a copy of them as well. The fact that they have the intro skill, and you get the chance to see them pop on in. That's so cool. I love the fact they even do, like, the GT style of, like, shading as well. Here, um... See... They're pretty close to getting their full key off. I I'm just going to do that. I'm pretty sure this int first phase dies regardless. And so it shouldn't matter all that much. Oh, right. We're also going to see the animations for the LF... LF... LR SSJ3. He's not hitting very hard. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's go! Man. The thing is, I've seen like the year five LRs and just a whole slew of different releases on Dokkan. So it's really cool to have them actually like on my account and see them cruising through content. Um, this isn't looking too great. I'm not going to be able to get any kind of good amount of keys. So I'm just going to see if I can have those fall down. Does that do the 18 or the 24 key? I think it does. And then we'll just do the full 24 key on this one too. Let's go. I think out of the animations that I've seen so far, I actually like the GT duo a lot more than the animations for the uh, SSJ3 and SSJ2 Vegeta. I think it's just something about the fact that they're simulating the GT art style and like, the things they adapt inside the unit. It's just really cool. Like, look at this. They even have the extra bit of shading. They have the extra bit of, like, effort. And their standby is so much cooler. But we'll see if we can end up getting that at some point today. Um, not a lot of quests are long enough to be able to get to the fourth stage with this team, honestly. Um, that has become a rather big problem for me. Uh... I'm not going to lie to you. I 
don't really want to follow that, but I kind of gotta. Man, I wish that Rainbow Orb was able to touch. And we'll just go up that way. I want to see MUI is 24. I actually haven't seen it yet. But yeah, I always wanted to grind Don't Cut on the channel, but I've always felt like there's not a lot to do except for just grinding your LRs and then kind of working on your box and your daily until the next anniversary. That's just kind of the nature of a game like this where most of the content is collection. Let's go, MUI! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! I think MUI also has an active skill where he does like the angry, like... It's not... It's similar to the, you will not... I will not let you destroy my world from Battle of Gods. But it's the version where he's fighting Jiren, and he does it because Jiren, like, shoots up Key Blast at his friends or something. Um, this is honestly kind of shit for me. Uh, I think I swap... Yeah, I want to swap the LFs to the front, but I don't think I'm be able to get any good amounts of Key here. Here, we'll do that. I still don't get it. Fuck. I wanted to see Dragon Crash. Alright. Should be all good anyway. These strength units, I'd hope they end up killing. Because if they kill, I won't need to worry about my... Uh... Purple taking a shit ton. But it's, it's not gonna matter. This is not gonna matter at all. He's just gonna slap him. Oh, this is the Dragon Smash. So I guess his 12 key is Limit Breaker Kamehameha, and anything above that would be Dragon Crash. Even if you don't get, like, all the way to 24. Interesting. It does seem like this game would be really hard to play in Japanese. Oh, I got the MUI skill! Let's go! Anyone who tries to hurt my friends. Yurusaneza! And he does like the very dramatic punch that's on every single poster you've ever seen. Hell yeah. But yeah, I feel like playing this game in Japanese would be especially hard because a lot of their kits rely on you understanding it thoroughly to be able to min max a lot of the hardest content. And so. The idea of not being able to read the text or, like, the individual links that a character has scares me. God, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! I still think that SSJ4 Gogeta is, to this day, one of the coolest fucking units. Not even units! He's just one of the coolest characters in DBZ. Big Bang? I don't know how I feel about it being Final Shine that turns into a blue blast, but hell yeah. That crit for 5 mil? Honestly, not that great compared to what I've been hitting for on some other quests. Not too bad at all, though. Alright, so that was our tiny little showcase here fighting against the new LR event. We're probably going to go and do the GT one as well. The main reason why I wanted to do that one, I remember people in the last video were talking about like, you don't need to worry about getting Gotenks and Piccolo. Guess what? I got them anyway. Want to know why? Because they're fucking cool. And they're on joint forces, so they actually might be really neat to be able to use in the future, so I definitely want a copy of them. Um. Also, if I'm going to be starting this game in the first place, I plan on actually collecting, and so I do care about pulling that side banner unit. For now, um, we're just going to go ahead. I was going to do the GT Duo. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going into Spirit Bomb Miracle. Um, we're going to use the other team with my other lead. So we're going to use the 7th Anniversary Goku and Vegeta with a massively incredible partner. Uh, and honestly, I'm kind of happy with that. Ideally, I'd like to switch out one of these LRs, probably the uh, purple one that's the Super Saiyan God, for the sake of getting someone that 
just links better with a lot of the characters I have on this team right now. Uh, unfortunately, I am running into the trouble quite a bit where I'm just not hitting 24 key every time. I don't think you're supposed to inside this game. I think you're supposed to struggle to hit like those thresholds every time. I probably should have set this to skip. Either way, they're just going to flex on him, so it works out. Hell yeah. Alright. Now, not the greatest rotation in the world. Ideally, I would have this Goku up front so he has a chance to dodge, and then the strength duo in the middle just so they can tank a little bit because... Uh, is it physical? Physical is weak to strength. So let's go ahead and rock it. Fortunately, I got the 24 key with the, those guys, so, you know. Okay, so above 18 key is going to be the Limit Breaker Kamehameha turning into Dragon Smash. That makes sense. Dodge. 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 Hell yeah. And can we get one more for good luck? A pinch to grow an inch? Actually, he didn't even dodge. He just slack smacked him. Works out. Dragon Fist! Did you know? I actually went back and watched the Wrath of Dragon movie recently. Did you know that the quote where Goku yells, If I don't, who will? Dragon Fist explode! That is exclusive to only Budokai Tenkaichi? I didn't know that. God, these units are like my favorite though. I can't even lie. They got the Shintani Bounce, they got the Double Transformation into God, one of the best looking forms in the fucking series. And they are built to nuke out entire goddamn teams. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, not great. I'm not going to be able to get what I'm looking for. So I'm going to set my two in the front. I'm gonna go up that path, and then unfortunately we're not gonna be able to see any big key attacks. We just didn't have any tech orbs this time around. I probably could have gotten it if I was a little bit more careful, but should be okay. Oh yeah, and this is their fancy animation. I wonder if this will do good damage. No, it did 20. Never mind, never mind. That's the 100% on the seventh year anniversary LR is, is definitely gonna tank past most content in the game right now. It seems like the game has really scaled itself, where numbers just barely are made to get over your current strongest unit, and so when the LRs drop for anniversary, they end up introducing harder content because all of these old events aren't relevant anymore, pretty much. Because you just flex on them. Look at them. They, they, they flex him. And ba-doom. This pose right here with Vegeta, by the way, looks really similar to the pose with Vegeta flying over Haruta Garn inside the Wrath of Dragon movie. I actually recognized it because of that. Okay, so we're fighting the big dramatic Vegeta. Unfortunately, we're not going to take any damage here. I'm just going to do that. Oh, that's not great. Do I trust the blues will come down the right side? I kind of do. Come on. No! Oh, that's fine. Gives me the 24 key anyway. Let's go! Now that STR, I'm very lucky I don't have a physical on my current rotation. Because if I did, this shit would hurt it. Oh, did they get an additional? Hell yeah. I think that means GT Duo is probably going to end up winning then? Without even getting the other ultimate off? Oh no, they exchanged. Cool. That's GG then. Let's go! Dragon Smash! He do be punching. He's even hit for a million. Yeah, he's the one I would want to replace for sure. <laughs> he's, he's definitely not very good. All right. We got some real shit to do. Let's see the animations for the year sevens. 
Now, I don't know, so I don't use the uh, LRGT duo very often because I only got them to LR last night. And so I don't know if they're active will immediately pop here anyway. For the seventh year anniversary LRs, most of what they need is four turns into the battle or being below half HP or the enemy is below half HP. And they'll be able to nuke out the rest of that HP very, very easily. But what is the condition for the active ability for Gogeta? This is J4. Is it immediately activated? No, it isn't. Okay. Um, in that case... Uh, yeah, probably. I think I just take it, because then I can get the 24 key off with the second units. And honestly, we get to just watch a fucking movie right now. Oh, so we start with a big bang. Actually, I don't know. Does he have a big bang as his 12 key? No, he just does the bluff Kamehameha. Oh, it's the clone one. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. I respect it. Now, this is my favorite animation in the goddamn game. The idea of a need to rotoscope the scene with two different models to be able to fit in a random filler model is actually pretty difficult. So respect to them for animating all of that. And honestly, the uh, seventh anniversary LRs are just that hotness. I can't even say otherwise. Um, here, we're gonna do one more, uh, just cause I kind of feel like playing some more Dokkan. And let's see what battle we're gonna go ahead and take on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take on the Blazing LR, also known as Vegito Blue. Um, we're going to use our Joint Forces team here. A uh, slightly different leader. I am using the Strength version of, I believe, that they go into Vegeta? No. They should be Gogeta because they're Fusion Reborn because the Vegeta has a Halo. So yeah. Um, we do have them on the team. We pulled them in a copy, I want to say at least three times on the banner itself. So honestly, super exciting stuff right there. I feel like I am pretty caught up with a lot of the content that I'd like to do inside the game right now. And so the rest of this is just going to be me grinding on the daily and trying to get all these LRs done. Um, I did get a copy of both uh, Strength Gogeta and uh, Tech Vegito. And so these LRs are ones I want to work on as well. Here, we're going to get the 24 key off with you. Definitely get it off with you. And get it off with you as well. That's, that's just a triple goddamn slammer. I feel like the Joint Forces team actually works really, really well together. And I don't know why they seem like they are just instantaneously stronger than the other teams I've built with the other LR leaders. Um, it honestly might just be a placebo effect, but goddamn. So it's basically been the last two years inside Dokkan Battle. Oh my god, they're doing both animations. Uh, they it's been basically two years since we started to get these duo units on Dokkan. And I like what they're doing with them. It just doesn't help when they release a banner that is literally like, Hey, this is the Joined Forces team. So every single Goku and Vegeta that you want to run, which obviously it's fucking Dragon Ball Z, of course you want to run them are available to you immediately. The only trouble is because of those joined forces, you're going to be using pretty much only Goku and Vegeta's for everything. Because I'm working on that Piccolo and that Gotenks. There's Nova and Ice Shenron. There's uh, 
the future Gohan and Trunks LR. There's, I, I think, a, a Goku Frieza LR from years and years ago. And so there are examples of non-Goku and Vegeta units. But that is not what anniversaries offer you. What you get for anniversaries is this. A 24 key and more Goku and Vegetas than you have ever thought that you wanted to see in this world. But here, we're going to go ahead and get the Carnival LR's ability off here. Oh, he's, he's doing the, the little flex, his new green card from Legends. Uh, would you guys be interested in, like, Legends content for Ultra Vegito Blue? Um, I got a copy of him on, like, this random jobber reroll that I did. I usually do it on new banners that drop. So, I'd kind of be down. That's, that's 4.7 mil? Not too bad. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind doing like a PvP video or some kind of showcase on that if you guys would be interested. Um, just let me know. If you are interested, then I'll definitely have a video up very soon of that. Because now I can record my phone properly, and it is actually working really well. I have audio from it, I have no crashes. I'm pretty happy. And that means that content creation is going to be so much easier for me if I have a couple of games I want to touch on. Uh, examples of that would be Bounty Rush. Examples of that would be um, My Hero, Strongest Hero, for example. Uh, I would really like to get that extra little bit of key. I'm going to pop that there. Fortunately, it ruined my rotation. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Um... I'm taking the red path, and I'm just going to try and give these guys the green. Unfortunately, we're not getting any 24 keys off. I was a little bit too greedy trying to get only theirs, but I knew that the blues wouldn't hit that hard. I mean, these guys... Always a tiny chance, but all they do is throw a baseball. <laughs> Vegito Buruda! Oh man, I'm excited to get this LR, honestly. I'll probably end up running a team of, like, the fusions alongside MUI and try and see if I can make, like, a a Power Beyond Super Saiyans team work with the 7th Anniversary LRs. Because I want to have a team of gods. And that'll be a little bit different than what I'm currently running. And Blast! Not too bad at all. I think this will be a GG. I think the 7th Anniversary LRs, now that they're already inside blue, have a very, very low chance of not killing here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they crit for 2.4 mil, which isn't even that great, but they were going to get an additional as well. So, strong as hell. Alrighty. And yeah, that's basically just what I've been doing. I've just been running these, uh, like, different rotations to be able to get my LRs all upgraded. I hear part two of the anniversary is going to be... Uh, Kai Goku from Dragon Ball Z Kai. I've actually never seen Dragon Ball Z Kai, and I don't know if I'm gonna end up pulling on him. If I don't, then I'll probably end up seeing if I can do another video on the other LRs I awaken here in a little bit. Next goal is going to be this Bootanks, uh, this Frieza, and both of the fusion characters up there to be able to make like a proper co comparable team. For now, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe of Dokkan. You guys do enjoy this a lot. Uh, if this hits, let's say... 50 likes. We'll do an hour long Dokkan video next week. For now, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.